Yeah, g'day, Paul here from Rotec Arrow Sport. Um, just wanted to share with people out there. We've been building this um, our uh, uh, engine dyno, and it was kindly donated to us by Larry Perkins um, Engineering. And he used to, Larry used to use it for running all his V8 racing car engines in it. Okay, so that's the this is the back side of it. Let's go and have a look inside. So if we come in here, you can see we've got a, a 3600 engine ready to test. And here it is. So we've been running this 3600 for the last you know, a day or so, just uh, getting all the booth working properly and it's working quite well. There's a few little changes I need to make. Um, probably add a fan to the front to keep air circulating um, after shutdown because it gets pretty hot and gassy in here. But um, and then probably down the track we'll make an exhaust system that actually routes outside the the booth. But for the moment I've got fresh air feeding the throttle body um, from the outside, which keeps uh, keeps the TVI happy. Otherwise it just starts sucking in all its own gases, all the exhaust gases. So now it gets fresh air from the outside and works quite. Well, the only thing is we can't run the engine at full power for all that long because it starts to get pretty hot. So we have to do it in spurts and cycles. We get fresh air coming in from these intake ports and they work really well drawing the air in. Um, no smoke comes out of those. It's all negative pressure there. And then all the positive pressure goes straight out the exhaust, exhaust uh, ports uh, with all the gases and the heat. And it actually works very well. Here you can see we've got the mixture control operated with um, a servo, a large model aeroplane servo, and on the throttle control, which required more torque, I've actually used a massive wiper motor, well not massive, but a wiper motor that's uh, been converted to operate as a large servo. And if you just stay there, Ben, I'll demonstrate that. It's pretty, pretty slick. This one here has been modified with an encoder so that... Um, it operates this, the the, uh, the throttle plate and and this one the mixture. I'll show you. Hang on. So you can see it works pretty well, right? And uh, here I've got just sort of jerry-rigged. I've got a solenoid out of a central locking unit out of a car, and I've made that on a plate, and the TBI regulator is sort of suspended between the hoses. I'll show you how that works too. You can come in maybe from this way, and you can see it better from this way. Of course, we've still got our oil tank in here. That gets pretty hot as well, but it, it works okay. The oil gets up hotter than it usually does on our test runs. We can get it to about 100 degrees Celsius, which is getting pretty hot for the oil, but it's okay. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I think what we'll do now is we'll give this engine a quick run and you can see it all happen. So I've got my intake pipes closed. I've previously hand propped it, so we're right to go. Let's fire it up. So I'm going to close the door up here, look. Pretty serious doors. Okay. So here we are at the panel, and what I do is each test run, I have a little report here. So for each engine, I'll have all this data I keep, manifold pressure and uh, relative performance, both lean and rich. CHTs and then any comments, oil pressures, the serial number, whether I'm running av gas or auto gas. We go from there. Uh, over to the panel, I haven't labelled it fully yet. It's not quite finished, but we'll get there. We've got oil pressure alternator. We've got magneto one, magneto two. Engine selection, whether it be the nine cylinder or the seven cylinder. In this instance, it's the nine. Now I've got my main master switch, which is operating a solenoid down in the on the uh, engine or down on the engine frame for my master solenoid uh, fuel pump 
auxiliary fuel pump, TBI primer, that was that uh, actuator you saw operating before, and then I've got RPM, oil pressure, oil temperature, exhaust gas temperature, alternator volts, fuel pressure, cylinder head temperature, and I've got a flow meter here which I normally keep on just fuel flow I'm interested in. And then if we run Jabiru's with liquid cooling, I've got a water temperature here and I've got a water pump switch. So that's pretty much it. Anyway, so I've got my mixture set to rich, throttle set to closed, couple of bursts on the primer, and she should fire up. Let's see what happens. So crank it on the starter motor first and then flick the ignition. And there she goes, again. Needed a little bit more priming. See the engine okay? So right now at the moment we're running at about 18 inches of pressure, manifold pressure.
leading the TBI makes no difference because it's not on the spray bar. It's idling off the idle jet. So leaning shouldn't make any difference technically. If it does make a difference, it means you're not on the idle jet properly. All right, so that's the uh, that's pretty much the uh, the Rotec test stand. It's working well, and um, all the engines that we've got um, queued up to send out to customers, we can now give them a good test run. Okay, bye for now.